Welcome back to the Witcher everyone. Last time we left off here after we came from a well let's say a party and we're drunk. Alvin also already told us what he thinks of us. Let's see what Tris has to say. Okay, walking sideways because we will walk a little bit faster. And let's see what she says about us. Geralt, you reek and have woken all the neighbors. What kind of role model are you? <clears throat> I'm out of here. And that's what happens. So, uh, not white honey. Wife's tears. There we go. We're all sober. Geralt. I'll see you later. Okay, so we had a ring to give to her. She wanted us to give a ring, so she knew we were loyal to her. I think this one works. Uh, let me save, just in case. Geralt. And let's see. It's a beautiful ring. But? Well, I'd like you to spend more time with Alvin. The boy needs some discipline. Alright, we have to discipline Alvin. Okay. Going to market tomorrow. Going to market tomorrow. Tris said it wasn't a nice shed anyway. What shed? I have trouble with the power, and I destroyed a shed. You've got to learn to control it. Oh, well, this is what we have to do with Alvin. Basically, he asks us for stuff, and... Uh, well, we have to be basically a parent. And tell him not to worry. Be a witcher when I grow up. Yeah, we have to go out again. Triss has made me look at stupid pictures. She must have her reasons. Pictures are stupid! Okay, let's try talking to Triss again. You're so good with Alvin. Okay, let's try giving her the ring now. So you love me and have forgotten her? Triss, I... You're sweet, you know. The only one I trust. You've endured a lot. Time for a reward. The little one's asleep. So let me show you some real magic. Okay, we have don't have anything anymore. And now we don't have to scold Alvin. We can basically give him anything he wants. But I don't care anymore, so... Let's see what else we have to do. Quests. Okay, this is the banquet. We have the blue eyes, which I need a ring from the banquet. We have these contracts which we give to a guy from the banquet. And won't hurt a bit. So we basically need to go to the banquet. 
I hope I have enough here of what I need. Okay, let's see. The banquet is in the evening, so I don't have anything else to do around here. We can talk to a couple of vendors. I'll be damned if you. Welcome, noble beverages and other goods. Any alcohol? Forbidden by royal edict. So apparently, alcohol is forbidden by royal edict. Yeah, right. I spit on the damned speculators and users. What have we here? A wink was that? Plow secrecy. All know I sell information. What'll it be? Tis the calm before the storm in old Vizima. We'll soon learn the non-humans' plans. No. Okay, so this guy is useless. We already talked to this guy and this guy. Okay, I'll see you at uh, night time. Okay guys, here we are. I uh, meditated till dusk. And let's go to this party. Let's see what happens. You know what Morden did at the tournament? Remind me. We arrive on horseback in full armor, all polished and wheeled. Morden hugged his steed with his knees and knelt. And then he pulled himself up, horse and all. Okay, we have a bunch of uh, wealthy people around here. We have Triss there. Let's go in this room. Mysterious nobleman. That cheating dwarf is here. A Redania spy. A witch. Okay. Now you'll have to do this for a quest later, but I like to do it now. Basically you need this. Why are you here? Huh? I, w I was looking for the privy. In that box? Okay, you can tell him whatever. His reaction will be different, but uh, the result is the same. And I think you can do both. Let's uh, go for the first one first. Point for you. Truth is, I was hoping for a superior drink. The wine does taste watered down. I found some liquor. Try some? Gladly. So you can have a drinking contest with him, but I don't want a to. Stupid idea. And she just goes away. Why are you here? Huh? In th and you can tell him the second one. This is none of your business. Get lost. How dare you? Do you know who I am? I don't. But I do know this cut that leaves the victim with one ear, one cheek, and half a jaw. People survive it, but playing the flute is just one of the things they can't do. Um, uh, I'd best be going. Oh, I like the second one the best. Okay, let's talk to Tris. Here we are. Wipe that frown off your face. You'll be fine. Can't we go back to your place? Make sure I have no internal injuries. Later, Geralt. Come on, this isn't so bad. Let's mingle. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
Okay, so I have to go around and talk to people. I don't don't remember if it's automatic or or not. But uh, let's take them in order. Geralt of Rivia and Triss Merigold, welcome. Greetings. I thank you for coming. Uh, look about the room and you will see the entire kingdom represented. We thank you for your invitation. Forgive me, I must return to my duties. I'm certain we'll speak later. I'm busy now. Okay, nobleman, we have Princess Ada here and the uh, Count Duet. But uh, let's talk to these people first. Geralt, allow me to introduce Burgomeister Velarad. Charmed. Greetings. It's uh, been a while. Velarad is King Foltest's right hand. No need for formal introductions. If you wish to open a factory or a shop, uh, kill a monster or petition the king, uh, you must come to me. I'll remember that. Excuse us, Burgomeister, but we need to say hello to the other guests. Okay, let's try it again. The remaining guests are in that room. Geralt, have you met Taller? Taller? Here? Let me introduce my master, the Honorable Erkin von Blunt. Good day, sir. Erkin has taken a vow of silence and thus cannot answer. You must be wondering why he is here. Indeed. He has made numerous vows in his life, one of which is to protect the royal family. Sadly, for unknown reasons, Princess Ada holds little respect for him. Vows, however, must be honored, whatever the circumstances. And how are you involved? Are you bound by his vows by extension? He authorized me to speak on his behalf, and I serve as his advisor. Of course. We shan't be bothering you. Come, Geralt. We'll speak shortly. Okay, so this is the guy we get the ring for, from. On the for the blue white quest okay he doesn't say anything but uh, we have this let's have a drink and I do have wife tears with me so it's okay so for this guy you need I think this three of them should be enough I'm drunk. He speaks. I broke my vow. I swore on a heron. A heron? Nonsense. Tala hired me to come incognito to the feast. You blew it. No scene, please. This ring will get you in the house of the night. Half price. Okay, so I was wrong there. We did get the ring. I think it's three strong al alcohol and six medium. Okay, so yeah. I believe that's how it goes. It's uh, three weak makes one medium, and three medium makes one strong, or something like that. I don't know exactly the math. But it worked out in the end, so I don't care. Yeah, let's sober up. The remaining guests will are speak in that room. Smile, Witcher. This won't take long. Okay, so what's left? Ada and Count Duet. Get out of my sight, freak. He hates us. So let's talk to Ada. Milady. Allow me to present the sorceress Triss Merigold, and... Duet, I know who stands before me. We know each other. 
Do we not, Witcher? One could say so, Princess. A princess indeed, though I do not always feel like one. So many duties. You could not imagine, Witcher. Why do you stare? Is my dress displeasing? Okay, so I don't exactly remember if we have to flatter her or just uh, tell about the curse, but I think it's number one. So I'm going to go with that. Forgive me, milady, but even the finest dress would pale in comparison to you. Mind your tongue, mutant. Duet, I will decide if and when I am offended. Your Highness, he is an aberration. Silence. It was a nicety. Leave us for now. You've met everyone who's anyone. I need to speak with Levarden. You behave yourself. Beware of anyone who tries to pry information from you. From me? But I'm just a witcher. Don't be fooled. Anything you say may have political ramifications. Okay, so now we're free to roam about and talk to people. Let's talk to Taller. Enjoying yourself? Exquisitely. Not enough food, nowhere to sit, and nothing but small talk. And I may be the only one here not involved in one of the many schemes or secret alliances being forged. It's a sign of the times, new customs and fashions. You think it better to show the Nilfgaardian we're barbarians? That we can't distinguish between a fork and a comb? That the only way we know how to feast is to get blind drunk and roar lusty songs while slapping the serving wenches on their ass? I'm a relic, someone from the past, so I'm rather attached to the old customs. Never understood nor liked the new ones. But really, Taller, why are you here? I'm a patriot. I've the good of the kingdom at heart. A kingdom threatened by the schemes and alliances you were observant enough to note. I said I was an old-fashioned witcher. Be straight, like Taller the Fence would be. Taller the Fence does nothing for free. Taller the Fence is a scoundrel who'd prefer the Temple District not know he consorts with the cream of Vizima society. Have it your way. Let me tell you, friend, a serious slash fest is in the works. One without pardon. The defeated will be picked apart by crows. You'll be forced to fight for a new order, comrade, or against it. We will fight for our traditions and customs, for our land and our women. Who's this enemy? Who wants to steal our women? I wouldn't deceive you. I think you're one of us. It's a cause we share. I don't know the enemy yet, but I will soon, and when I do, the time of the sword and the axe will come. Blood will flow in the streets. And know this, comrade, there will be no room for your neutrality. Why do you want to draw me into a game that doesn't concern me? This game concerns you more than you imagine. You mean to tell me you're not interested in the conflict between the Order and the Scoia'tael? You mean to tell me you don't care? What about your lover, Triss Merigold? That's private. I want to destroy Salamandra. That is my only objective. Salamandra has a patron. Someone in this room, or one known here. You're up to your ears in this, Wolf, whether you like it or not. Is Luvardin somehow involved? I need to get Urk in a private meeting with him. At present, his intentions are a pure riddle. To me, too. Really? What do you mean? Your friend seems to get along famously with Livarden. For two strangers, they certainly have much to discuss. See for yourself. I trust Triss. I suppose you know her better than I, but don't say I didn't warn you. Regarding Luvarden, we know he heads some transnational organization of merchants, bankers, and other wealthy folk. Make what you will of it. Who exactly is Duet, and what is he doing here? That Nilfgaardian dog is a mere pawn. I cannot fathom why Ada tolerates him. Explain. Like most knights of the Order, he worries his dicks too small, so he gets aggressive whenever something scares him. Then, of course, he's a Nilfgaardian. Our princess has some weaknesses, but stupidity is not one of them. Maybe the princess has a game of her own going. Then she should choose better allies. Unlike chess, this game claims lives. I'm afraid someone might be using her. 
Who exactly are you? And be straight with me, comrade. Temerian intelligence. I execute the king's direct orders. I find traitors, rats, and foreign agents. I'm a spy. A highly placed spy. I can't deny it. May I ask a personal question? The amphibians you're after, are they a personal matter or an ideological one? Well, for me, they're kind of both. Both. Care to explain? They robbed me and killed a friend. They're criminal, evil. Salamandra upsets the balance. As a witcher, I can't ignore that. Got it. Thank you for being candid. Excuse me for a moment. We'll talk later. Okay, so that's kind of everything Thaler has to say for now. Uh, let's talk to Velarad. Speak freely, Geralt, but no politics. I want to ask about the princess. No politics. About the curse. Shh. I could use something stronger. Fine. Ask. Does the princess have strange dreams? How would I know? I've not spoken to Ada without one of those bastards from the Order prisons. Any strange behavior? You're awfully close to treason. I'm not asking out of want for political influence. Our sweet princess is completely normal. Well, uh, her head's a little messed up. Is she aggressive? On occasion, but not unusual for a spoiled damsel. I don't know, she's... What? Well... Spit it out. She needs a man to give her a proper lay. Right. Uh, must go. Later. I'm Can I ask about politics? I thought you were a decent fellow. When will the king return? Everybody's asking that question today. I tell everyone the same. He'll return in due course. I hope so. Okay, so he said he wanted something stronger. And I think any strong drink will work. Let's try it. I'm listening. Okay, let's give him this one. Nothing better than a little downtime. Okay, I guess not. Farewell. We might have to do that later. Okay, let's uh Let's talk to Levarden and Triss, see if they finished uh, their conversation. Excuse me, Geralt. I'm, I'm speaking busy. to Varden. Okay, he's busy. Get out of my Witcher, you may approach. Duet, fetch me some wine. From that page boy at the end of the room. Your Highness. We may speak freely now. Geralt, tell me about witches, and please, don't hide behind your code. What are you asking, milady? What is your view on politics? To me, politics is like an encounter with a lover. Would you agree? The similarities are evident. Allow me one jest, Witcher. Very well. A countess said to a count, Shall I have dinner served? What a waste. Perhaps we might go for a walk. What a waste. May I ask a riddle then? Very well. What is warm, hairy, and dives into holes? A cock. Not at all. A mouse. A mouse in a cunt. What a waste! Okay... Not sure what to do about this one. What a waste indeed. Never mind. Back to our lovers ambulating about the room. You see, Witcher, politics is not unlike a tryst. It begins with foreplay, glances, conversations. Behold that witch with Luvarden. Now look to our noble Urkin in the courtiers. The dance grows bolder, fondling and such. Then, one is consumed by the desire to come together roughly, like animals. Finally, one is left with sad, passionless copulation. Velarad and Duet, for instance. 
Excuse me, your highness. Sore throat. We are adults, Geralt. We both know the desires of men. You may be right, your highness. Power, sex, sex, power. They both come down to one thing. Fucking others. <laughs> may I ask you a question? Go on. What is the king's stance on this topic? I mean, politics, of course. Ugh, dull. I have grown hungry, and there is naught worth eating at this feast. I tire of partridge tongues and caviar. Hmm, what do I most desire? I have it. I will answer your ever so dull question if you bring me what I most desire. I shall return shortly, your highness. Okay, now we have to give uh, Ada something to eat. But uh, not a, none of these work. Actually, it's a quest item, so of course. So we have to talk to Valorad now. Nothing better than... What does the princess like to eat? Find me a stronger drink and we'll speak. Will do. Well, I already gave you one. Relax, Burgermeister. The party's just... I'm listening. Okay, let's see. Let's try the Marion Rye. Ah, much better. The princess had a hard childhood. It left her with a penchant for raw meat. We tried to keep that quiet, but... I see. Anything else? Tala's angry. <laughs> His intelligence agents <laughs> scour the realm to fetch her treats. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, now we have to talk to Tala. Geralt. Any idea what the princess's favorite dish might be? We have to know shit like that. As special agents, people of the shadows. Calm down. What's the dish? Tala does nothing for free. Go to the next room and fetch the letter from the box with the Temerian coat of arms. And be discreet. But? Then I'll tell you Ada's favorite dish. Okay, so we already got that letter. That's why I like to do it uh, as soon as I come in here. How did it go? Smoothly. Here's the letter. You'd make a fine agent. I exaggerate. A goat would be just as good. Start talking. What's Ada's favorite dish? Catablepus. What? Some time ago, this maniac, who looked a lot like you, arrived in Vizima claiming that nothing surpasses finely prepared cataplepas meat. You're joking. Not a bit. Since then, my men have been hunting cataplepas throughout the continent in secret. At market, it costs more than a good whore. How's the meat prepared? That's the Burgermeister's business. I smuggle in cataplepas, but I wouldn't know how to cook it. Give me a minute. I need to get a bite. Okay, so now we have to talk with Triss. Geralt. Ah, this is important, Triss. What's important? Ada knows something. I think I can get it out of her. Really? That spoiled little vixen, well, she wants some cataplepus. Rare would be best. Are you kidding? No. Triss, could you conjure up something, please? Sorcery at parties is considered very unseemly. I'll create a distraction. I'll do better myself. Yeah, she's already done. Cataplepis steak. Rare for the princess. Thank you, Triss. You know I can conjure up orgasms, too. I think I prefer traditional methods. I'll find you after I've spoken with Ada. Okay, so we when we talked to Toller, we had an update in this. Do you have something tasty for me? Steak tartare of cataplepus, 
Raw meat with a pinch of pepper and an uncooked yolk. You know how to please a woman. It is an honor to serve you, Your Highness. I shall grant you a private audience. Come to my alcove in five minutes. We shall dabble in politics. <laughs> Okay, there she goes. She's a little slow. Silk is out of fashion. The food will disappear. I'm busy now. Excuse me, Geralt. I must speak with the garden. Nothing bad. Farewell. Get I'm done. Give me a minute. I need to get a bite. Okay, nobody else has anything to say. Morton's the man. And this should end the ban banquet. Can I close the door? No. Finally, politics it shall be, but quietly. We should not be heard. Your Highness promised me an answer. What are you waiting for? Undress. Your Highness. I shall answer in due course. But first, I must know if those legends about your sword are true. All right. As you command. I should think so. Geralt, I spoke with Declan. And? The two of you should talk. What's so worthy of my time? Don't be so quick to judge. He'll make you an offer. One I think you should accept. Sure you're not using me as one of your tools? Only in bed, Witcher. Only in bed. What's the gift of Lara? A long, complex story, but I'll keep it short. Lara Doran Epshiadol was no normal elf. More like a genetic bomb. She was to couple with another genetically special individual and bear an even more exceptional child. But that never happened. Lara fell in love with Kurgenin of Laud, a mage, a human. Lara and Kurgenin's children, known as those of elder blood, proved hard to follow. Thus, the sorcerers who had hatched the plan lost control of their precious gene. Not finding this party dull. Anything more interesting in mind? <sighs> At home, Geralt. At home. Witcher. About my identity. Any progress? I'm still analyzing. Okay, so nothing new. Come on, get out of my way. Where's Declan? Oh, there you are. I'm glad you've come. What is it? The old saying goes, any enemy of my enemy is my friend. Get to the point. Geralt, I urge you to change your tone. Listen to what Declan has to say. Let me guess. You have dirty work needs doing and thought a witcher with amnesia perfect for the job. Exactly. Will you help destroy Salamandra? I'll help, but it hardly means we're friends. Wonderful. It's as we've heard. All secret societies need gold. Fistek yields the largest profits for Salamander. Our spies say there's a new Salamander camp in the swamps. The herbs are harvested, then conducted to another base in Vizima's temple quarter. A swamp and slums again. Great. We're confident you can destroy both camps. If you discover papers, evidence that might aid us, return to me. Yes, sir. Permission to commence mission, sir. Both camps are new, without sure defenses. A simple matter for you. The salamanders would slaughter groups of humans easily. Much simpler to sacrifice one witcher. I'll return once I have new information. See me tomorrow if you need help. Triss obtained this formula especially for you.
So we already... Okay, the banquet quest is complete. We already completed the... It was this... Oh. That's basically a healing potion. So we completed those, those two quests in the swamp and in the slums. And now we can just talk to him, but I'm not gonna do that. Because I'm not sure if uh, that uh, bank robbery quest happens after we talk to him or before. So I'm gonna go outside, oh Valorant is here. I wonder if he'll accept the quests now. Nothing. Okay, no. Farewell. I'll go rest. What nonsense. And uh, let's see if... Uh... Greeting. Get... I need rest. Yes, I'll see if Valoran moves into his tower and we'll go talk to him. Or if that uh, quest starts. I'll smash your face. I'm itching to it Let's see if they're still up there. Okay, Luvardon is here, and everybody else left. Come on. Who's behind us? So that bank robbery quest should start now. If not, we're gonna go to the tower. Let's see. All right, we have this uh, scene outside. I forgot about this one. Geralt, don't listen to that piss-swilling cheat. What's wrong, Taller? He's involved. The counterfeit royal edicts. But I thought... Where do you get the royal seal, you ball-licking bastard? How dare you accuse me, mongrel? You believe the seal's fake? Clearly. If this is a royal edict, where's Folter's signature? Geralt, this is a provocation. The king need not sign every edict. The seal is authentic. You lie, DeWet. I can prove it and you'll hang. You can prove nothing. Surrender and live. Stay out of this, Witcher. Never. You won't take me alive, you bastards. I'll hear both sides. Witcher, reveal yourself as an honest man or a coward. What do you want, Duet? That scoundrel Taller, he refuses to abide by a royal edict. What edict? The royal edict bearing the very seal of our merciful ruler, Foltest, that strips him of his position. By the authority vested in me, etc., etc., Taller is hereby dismissed from his position as head of the Temerian Intelligence Service. And Taller objects? You're kidding. Yes. Show yourself a real patriot. Kill that pleb. Damn lies. The edict is a fake. This dickless, brainless, sellout zealot burns to see me eliminated. Silence, lice-ridden scab. You will hang, traitor. Geralt, bring me that pleb. He needn't be in one piece. I'll hear both sides. Okay, so... Actually, by the way they talk, you can tell. A little, a little bit that uh, the wait is kind of the bad guy here. Made your keep your hands off him. You'll regret this. You will all regret it. Quiet, priest. Thanks for your help, Geralt. You best disappear for a while. Good idea, but I must speak with you later. I need to do something. Fine. Meet me at the new Narakord.
Okay, let's go to the inn. And talk to Taller, and I think I'll end the episode there. And we'll do the bank robbery and the other contracts in the next one. Okay, let's see if he talks to us now. Damn. We meet again, Witcher. Worked out that way, I guess. I suppose I should thank you for saving my ass. I'm still not sure it was smart to tangle with Duet. Of course it was, provided you have Temeria's well-being at heart. What do you mean? There's something afoot. You forget I'm a simple Witcher. It's like this. Before the King departed, he placed Vizima in my care. See? Seems authentic. During my absence, I entrust you with... I know you can read, Witcher, but notice both the King's seal and his signature. I see. That isn't on the other edicts. A seal can be stolen, but a signature is difficult to forge. So the royal edicts are fakes? Exactly. Having problems, Witcher? None, but thanks for asking. Okay, that's uh, all about the uh, taller for now. So yeah, the somebody's uh, trying to take over. We probably already know who it is. But uh, we'll get the bottom of that mystery probably in the next episode, or at least we'll do that bank robbery quest. We'll talk to Velorad, complete all of these contracts to get rid of them. And we'll see what else pops up. So like, comment and uh, subscribe if you like what I do around here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, have a nice day.